Well, good afternoon. We are on 5.6, estimating products of fractions. What we want to talk about, first of all, is compatible numbers. Numbers that are easy to divide mentally. Numbers that go into other numbers equally as well. Um, those are the ones that are compatible. If a number, um, for example, if we have the number 12, if we are talking about the number 5, does it go into the number 12 equally? Um, it does not. So that's why when we say easy, easy to divide mentally, this one would not be easy to divide mentally. Um, however, um, numbers that are compatible with 12 would be 4 and 3 and 2. Those are numbers that divide into that. Um, e evenly, easily, um, so hopefully that makes a little more sense what compatible numbers are. If you haven't hit pause to go ahead and copy these notes down, please make sure you go ahead and do that. I'll give you a few seconds to do that. So for example, again, it has 12 divided by 4 equals uh, 3, that's compatible numbers. 4 is compatible with 12. 20 divided by 5 equals 4, so 5 is compatible with 20. So when we are estimating, this says 1 fourth times 13. Or you could also say 1 fourth of 13. And the word of, again, always means multiply. So when we t say 1 fourth times 13, and we are trying to find a number that the denominator will go into this number evenly. Now we're not changing the number with the fraction. That is staying the same, the fraction. It's this number that we're going to multiply it by that's the number that we need to change so that it does become compatible with the 4. We can move this number up or we can move it down. Whatever it would be closest to the most compatible number to 4 is. So in this case, the most compatible number that's closest to um, being compatible, I should say, from 13 is 12. Okay? The next most compatible number would be the next multiple from 12 um, that 4 would be, which would be 16. And 13 is closer to 12. So again, remember we are estimating. Okay? We're just trying to be close. So 1 fourth times 12 does equal 3. Okay? And what the 1 fourth means is when we divide 12 divided by 4, Okay, uh, it goes into it three times. Twelve div or yeah, twelve divided by four does equal three. One of those fourths. Okay, if we had three of these fourths, then would be three of those threes. So within three fourths of twelve would be nine. So again, one fourth of twelve does equal three. Twelve divided by four is three. So there are lots of different ways to look at this. Um, when you are estimating. So let's try a few. And it says two-fifths of 11. Go ahead and hit pause and see what you can come up with. So again, let's remember that two-fifths times is what of means. And then a number that is close to 11 that's compatible with 5. And when we say 5 goes into 11, it does not. So the closest one to that would be 10. So let's go again. You could count by 5s if you wanted until you got to that. 5 times 2, 5 times 3. So if we say 5 times 2, that equals 10. 5 times 3 equals our 15. 11 is definitely closer to 10. So we're going to make this a 10 okay and when you divide 10 how many fives go into 10 well it goes into it two times okay well 
two of those would mean that we have a total of four, okay? Because one fifth of ten, just one of them, equals two. But we have two of them. So you've got to look at this numerator. That's going to tell us how many of these we need to have. And it's saying that there's two of those fifths. Therefore, we get a total of four. Okay? So let's look at our next one. Go ahead and hit pause and solve this. So three-fourths, again, times, and we're trying to find a number that will go into 23. Well, if we say 4 times 5, that gives me 20, and then 4 times 6 gives me 24. So what is 23 closer to? It is closer to 24 than our 20. So we're, what we are going to uh, round this 23 to is a 24. Okay? And how many 4's go into 24? Well, 24 divided by 4 is 6. Okay? So when we have 3 of these, 3 of the our 6's, that's going to be again 6 or 3 times that 6 which is going to equal and again um, I'll write that down that's going to equal 18 so 3 fourths equals 18 1 fourth would just be 6 okay we always have to look at our denominator in order to tell us what that number is going to be okay so now let's look at our next problems and it is rounding to the nearest zero half or one whole we have already done this uh, last week but now you're going to do that to two fractions and then multiply them together so when we look at our one-third we are looking at one at uh, I should say zero um, which would be zero thirds and our three-thirds one whole would be three over three and then halfway would be one point five over three and what is one closer to well the one would be closer to one point five it's only point five away then from one so this is one-third is going to equal a half times and then my seven-eighths I've got zero-eighths four-eighths and eight-eighths this again equaling one whole this is my one half and you can see that seven eighths is closer to my eight so that is going to be again this is my one whole and this is my zero so it's going to be one whole now the question is now we have to multiply and one half times one is one half any number times one is a half okay if we had one half times one half, well, what's half of a half? That is one fourth. And again, you can do that by saying one times one is one, and two times two is four. So that's another way of looking at that as well. Okay? And then, of course, zero times any number is zero. Go ahead and hit pause, and I'm going to let you solve this. So five sixths, okay. Um, whoops, back this up. Zero sixths is zero. Three over six is our half, and six sixths is one whole. What's closer? Well, our five is closer to the six, so therefore it is equal to one. So one times, and then zero over ten. Five out of ten and 10 out of 10 and 9 is closer to 10 than it is to 5 therefore it is 1 times 1 which equals 1 okay let's look at this last one go ahead and hit pause and again this is 4 fifths of 2 and 1 ninth round to the nearest 0 half or 1 whole in this case we've got our mixed number 
So two, two and a half, or three. So again, I have zero fifths, and then I have 2.5 over 5 and 5 over 5 for my one hole. And 4 is closer to my 5 than it is to 1.5, so it's going to be 1 times. And then my 2 and 1 ninth. Now, I'm not worried about my uh, 2 so much, but because that's my whole number. So it's going to be 2 and 0 ninths. And then over here is going to be um, 2 and 9 ninths, which equals 3. And then my half would be 2 and 4.5 over 9. And I can see my 1 is closer to 0. Therefore, my answer is 2. Okay, because again, 0 ninths, it's going to be 2, 2 and 1 half, or 3. Those are my options when I have a whole number. Okay, so 1 times 2 is 2, and then that's it. Please remember, we are estimating. You are just trying to get close, and uh, wish you the best of luck tonight on homework. Um, if you have any questions, again, please, please ask questions tomorrow, and we'll help to clarify this. Have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow.